Hey everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, sorry about the face. Um, like I said in the previous video, um, I was diagnosed with a sinus infection today, so my mm, I'm kind of off today. Um, anyway, so I really wanted to talk about um, the character of Hercules from Greek mythology. Now, um, there was Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, which was a very fun, fantastic show. Um, one of the best shows, even though it had some cheesy parts in it, but it also had some excellent parts. And, um, but overall, it was a really great show. Like, Kevin Sarbo was Hercules, and, <clears throat> like, it had a very fantastic story to it, and it was really great. It was really great. Um, and then they had the cartoon Hercules, which was, um, entertaining to watch. But then they came out with, okay, and then there was a 2005 Hercules. That was good. I like that. Um... It was a long movie, but it was good, and, um, yeah. I watched some of the older, 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 really old Hercules movies, and, I mean, I guess they were good for their time, but I don't know. I don't watch them really that often, um, but I love the legendary journey as Hercules. I do love that. So, <clears throat> then... They came out with this movie, Hercules, with Callum Lutz from the Twilight series. And he's like, you know, really beefy and awesome and everything. Of course he of course he would play a Hercules figure. <clears throat> so he's a great actor and everything in reality. I really like him. I really enjoyed him as Emma in the Twilight series. <clears throat> and some of his other works. Um, so... <sighs> I really have issues with the movie. Um, I think that they put, you know, some... You know, it's it's made with quality and everything. And, you know its own thing, but <clears throat> I think that the problem that I have with this movie is that uh, Hercules in this movie was too dependent on the fact that the whole accept Zeus into your heart and you'll have power kind of thing. I don't like that at all. I think that that's one of the most ridiculous and obnoxious things I've seen in a movie, honestly. Uh, Hercules was Hercules because he set himself apart from the gods and the humans. Uh, he went through tragedy after tragedy after tragedy and he still came out on top. He was everyone's hero. Um, he is the greatest superhero of all time, literally. He is the most popular. He literally, his legends have been around for literally thousands of years. So no one can really contest that or dispute that. It is what it is. Those are the facts. So... I just don't like the fact that this movie really made it to where Hercules was only special if he accepted Zeus into his heart. I think that that was kind of a stupid approach. Um, I mean, everything else, I guess, was good about it. Uh, one... I think that it was this Hercules, actually. My number one complaint about the movie 
more than the whole except Zeus and Chihar and you'll have power thing. The number one complaint that I have about the movie, and probably any movie, and I think that this is so incredibly obnoxious to me, okay? And I cannot help myself but to be so critical about this movie because of what it did. It would have been an excellent thing if it would have laid off two things. First, obviously, is what I'm about to say. Second is the whole accepting Zeus into your heart and you'll have power. Stupid. Hercules was strong by himself. He was a demigod. He helped others. Experienced multiple tragedies. But he was everyone's hero. The single most tragic thing about this movie, and perhaps any movie, is the fact that in this movie, Hera, okay, everyone for thousands of years knows the myths about Hera trying to kill Hercules because he was the illegitimate child of Zeus and Immortal. Literally, that it is what it is, and that is the story. While in this movie, which is the first time I've ever seen this happen, ever, and hopefully the last, in this movie, they did the most ridiculous job of first of all, they had Hera in this movie. And she came off as whiny, which, it, it, that's what it is. And that's not the complaint. The complaint is that in this movie, she not only thought that Hercules was the chosen one, or whatever it was, but she begged Alcmini to conceive Hercules with Zeus. Let that sink in. There is not one universe that Hera would ever allow that to happen. There, that's no, 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 no. That's literally ruining and throwing out the whole mythology of it all. And it just does not make any sense. It doesn't make sense. It, it doesn't, um, and it's completely unacceptable and unforgivable that some very special writer thought that it was a good idea to make a whiny Hera beg a woman to have her to have Hercules. Um, no, no, no. Hera hated Hercules and made him suffer his entire life. That is the biggest portion of his legends, is Hera making him suffer for the adultery of Zeus. It's a known fact through thousands of years, literally. <sighs> anyway, I think that, that was an absolutely despicable move on the writer's part. Um... No. Mm -mm. <clears throat> and I'm sorry, I don't know who the actress is that played for Hera in that movie, but the only woman that I see ever playing as Hera is Meg Foster in Hercules of the Legendary Journey. I think that journeys I think that she absolutely nailed that part. I mean she was born to play Hera. That is Hera. Um And this whiny thing that they had, mm mm. No. Mm mm. No, no. So, writers of any future Hercules movies or shows, don't do that. Th bad. Bad. <laughs> and I cannot believe that not one single movie executive sat in a room thinking that that was a good idea. And to let's put money behind that. I think that that was its greatest downfall. It's single handedly ruined the entire movie for me. Um, I did buy it because I am into Greek mythology 
And I do think that Colin Lutz is a good actor, and I do think that, you know, a majority of it was good, but that is an unforgivable move. An unforgivable mood with her, or move with what they did with Hera there. Sorry, guys. Kind of congested, so. Takes me a moment to catch up. <laughs> anyway, moving on to The Rock's Hercules. <laughs> so. How can I put this to where it's not offensive, but doesn't praise it too much at the same time, if that makes any sense? So, The Rock's Hercules was a really, really nicely done movie for the most part. Like, 90% of it, at least, was an amazing movie. Uh, let me tell you where their single-handed mistake was that ruined the whole effect. So, <laughs> I don't know what gets in the writers' minds, okay? Because, <sighs> it just irritates somebody, especially somebody like me who loves Greek mythology, and the whole thing, okay, right? In The Rock's Hercules, The Rock did an excellent job. And I don't think that he got the props that he should have. And I think that the whole style of the movie was excellent. I, and the special effects were great. And, you know, the landscapes and everything. Really, really nicely done. And um, Joseph Fiennes and everything. I think that, you know, loved it. Loved it. The only and biggest complaint, and it's not even a little complaint, but it's one complaint that I have about the movie, but it's big. And it's as big as the whole Hera aspect in Colin Lutz's Hercules. <clears throat> Hercules is Zeus's child. Undoubtedly period, and a story. Hercules would not be Hercules if he was not a demigod. Hercules would not be Hercules without Zeus being his dad and without Alcmene being his mom and without Hera being the villainess of his legacy, of his life. Those story basis plot points need to be there in a Hercules storyline, period. This, The Rock's Hercules, um, <sighs> they question the birth of Hercules himself, which is the single-handedly most stupid thing I've ever, besides the whole Hera thing in The Legend of Hercules, this questioning whether Hercules was Zeus's child or not, or whether he was the son of a god, and questioning everything, like his whole, um, la like all of his labors and stuff, and made them extremely human and not how they were in the legends. Like, they showed them, but they... They uh, uh, made them not legitimate anymore because they they switched the stories and made them extremely human and not anything at all Greek mythology. And that is the greatest sadness of the Rock Hercules. They could have made so much more, and I would have been a paying freaking customer. Okay. I'd be first one in line with my money if they didn't do that crap and if they made more. But since they did that, they just ruined, they left a bad taste. Okay, it is an excellent movie otherwise. But do not 
make Hercules not Hercules and make the legend of Hercules not the legend of Hercules. It is. Why? Why would you change that? I don't understand. Why would you... Why would you think that that's okay to go into a, a meeting for a big budget movie and say, hmm, you know this, you know this, he, everyone's hero, the most famous hero in history, we're really going to delegitimize, sorry if I didn't say that right, um, this guy's very nature and everything about him that made him a hero. No, 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 no. You did a fantastically stupid job at ruining both the Legend of Hercules with the whole era thing and questioning Hercules' very birthhood. Don't do it. It's just stupid, and you ruin. You leave a bad taste in people's mouths. You destroy the history of the mythology itself so why do it don't do it end of story uh, but anyway I thought that they were great otherwise I just think that <laughs> when you have a great movie make sure that your mistakes are minimal make sure that they're small mistakes don't make a great movie and then leave such an impactful tragic uh, bad um, mistake that it's just gonna leave the viewer like <sighs> I mean it was a good movie but they kind of ruined it is that the way that you want your viewer to be no so best advice stick with the legends the legends are already entertaining enough just take the actor, like The Rock's Hercules. The Rock's Hercules was excellent when it, like, the first part of the movie, and then when they started ruining things, it's just like, stop. 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 Just stop. Stop. You were, you were doing such an excellent job with the whole special effects and covering his labors and stuff like that. You didn't need, didn't need to leave the, or ruin the effect of it all. And sadly, you did. Sad. But. <sighs> what can you do? Um, I'm actually glad that they're not making any more. I was really excited. I was thinking, you know, before Earth of Rocks Hercules was released, I was like, wow. It's based on the Thracian Wars and this comic book series, and it can go on for at least three excellent movies, and The Rock is playing in it, and he's huge, and, you know, like, I had such high hopes for this movie, and then they go off and be stupid about it. I don't understand it. It's not the actor's fault. It's the writer's um, they should stick far away from Greek mythology, period. For both The Legend of Hercules and For The Rocks Hercules. Um, obviously, Hercules' leg The Legendary Journeys was loosely based on his uh, adventures and stuff, but there was no question that he was the son of Alcmenian Zeus and that Hera was the the villain of his life there they had those three things and they set that franchise up just like that and that's how it should have been that's why i don't complain about it it's entertaining there was such chemistry uh with all the actors and actresses, the, I mean, the show was just excellent. Yes, it was cheesy, but it was good cheesy in their own way. Not Sharknado or anything like that. I mean, just, I just, it, it's a popcorn fun, good show, as a show should be. It had emotion, it had action, it had comedy, it had 
horror, it had suspense, it had everything in it that you could possibly wish in a, a TV show. And I really loved it. So, there's no reason why the movies didn't take the best part of that show and expand upon it. Or take the best part of the legends and expand upon it. Even if you wanted to make your own creative choice, you didn't need to go off and ruin things like the way that they did. So, that's just my opinion. So anyway, I'm going to get off here. Probably go to bed soon. So, um, if you like my reviews, just like, subscribe, comment below. Um, I'll try to reply as to many people as possible. So, have a great night, guys.